we have different kinds of keyboards for personal computers. The most common types are the physical external keyboard, which are connected to our laptops, our desktop computers, and also other computers which uses the external keyboards. Our Windows interface has a built-in accessibility tool known as the on-screen keyboard. You might ask yourself, what is this on-screen keyboard? The on-screen keyboard is a virtual keyboard that allows the input of characters without the need of the physical keyboard. This on-screen keyboard is special and mostly used via a touch screen. That is, if you have a touch screen computer, you can use this inbuilt accessibility tool, which is the on-screen keyboard, to manipulate your tasks without using the external keyboard. Now, when it comes to desktop computers or laptops, which uses the external keyboard and also has the inbuilt on-screen keyboard you can activate the on-screen keyboard and control it with the computer mouse this is especially when your keyboard is not working properly or it is not available it is portable this particular on-screen keyboard is portable adaptable and also it reduces the hardware cost and that is personal experience that is my personal experience so if you have no keyboard or external keyboard connected to your computer system you can easily access this on-screen keyboard with your mouse and it's going to help you to perform most of your tasks without any hesitation let's assume that you are performing a task within 30 minutes time and you don't have this external keyboard or it is not working properly you can get access to this accessibility tool which is the on-screen keyboard and use your computer mouse to control it and perform your tasks. It might be a bit tedious, but it is very useful, which I am going to practically show you how you can use this on-screen keyboard if at an instant you don't have an external keyboard. Now, I am going to show you five different ways you can get access to the on-screen keyboard on your Windows interface and manipulate it. So, without any further ado, let's dive in and explore these options the first option is to use the settings interface so in this interface of my windows i am going to hold the windows key and the letter i now this provides me with this particular interface of my settings and i'm going to use the accessibility option to get access to my on-screen keyboard you can get access to this search option of your settings interface then you type accessibility and when you do so you have this best option that says ease of access keyboard settings i'm going to click on this and therefore this jumps you straight forward to the keyboard interface that relates to the accessibility option and in this interface you can see that we have use your device without a physical keyboard so this is the button that allows you to turn on the on-screen keyboard so if i click i have my on-screen keyboard display on my windows interface and i'm going to close it and when you do so this also turns off this particular feature now the second method is to move to your search box and search for on-screen keyboard so I'm going to hold the Windows key and the letter S and I have the search window of my Windows interface and I can type on-screen keyboard and then in the best match I have turn the on-screen keyboard on or off I'm going to click on this and this gives me the access to access this particular option and quickly you can press the space bar on the keyboard and that is going to turn on your on-screen keyboard i am going to close it by clicking on this close button then i turn it off now the next approach to get access to your on-screen keyboard is to use the action center of your windows interface i am going to hold the windows key and the letter a this brings out the action center of my windows interface and i have the option to click on settings and in this interface i am going to choose this particular option which is ease of access and i'm going to have this interface 
and this is an available vertical screw bar i'm going to click and scroll down and we have this keyboard option left click and this gives you the interface of the on-screen keyboard and you can click on this button to turn it on or off the next method is to use the windows key and the letter u this also jumps you straight forward to this particular ease of access interface and you can glance through or you can use this vertical scroll bar and find keyboard left click this gives you the option to turn on your on-screen keyboard now the last option which is a keyboard shortcut that can give you the access to get this on-screen keyboard displayed straightforward on your windows interface is to hold the windows key the control key and the letter o and we have this particular on-screen keyboard available and as i said earlier it is portable adaptable and also reduce the hardware cost so let's assume that at a particular point in time you don't have your external keyboard working properly you can straightforward jump on to your windows interface and access the on-screen keyboard and utilize it this particular on-screen keyboard let me introduce this to you so when you look at this window it is very similar to our normal external keyboard we have the escape key we also have these numeric keys here which are the number row keys we have the tab key the caps lock the shift key we have all these keys available now in this window as we move to the right side we have all this special purpose keys also available you can use this to perform all the tasks that is being done by the physical keyboard now before we jump into it let me show you some settings you can apply when you click on this icon it gives you the option to open the tax bar options so this is the tax bar option where you can access your tax bar and apply some settings you can also access other two bars and other options in this particular list now we also have this options here when you click you get the options dialog box and the first option is use click sound that is when you click on any of the keys available on the on-screen keyboard you are going to have a beep sound available the second option is show keys to make it easier to move around the screen that is anytime you click on the screen you have some highlight background that is emphasizing on the key that you pressed we also have this third option which is turn on numeric keypad now currently we don't have the numeric keypad available that is on the normal external keyboard when you move to the right side of your keyboard we have the numeric keypads available so when you click this is going to showcase the numeric keypad when we click on the ok button the next option is to use the on-screen keyboard click on keys the first option which is click on keys that is when you click on a key it activates that particular key with its associated letter and when you choose the over over keys that is you don't click on the letters rather you place the pointer on it and automatically that is going to select that particular letter now we also have scan through keys you can check this is based on individual preference you can play along with all these settings that we have here some are faded out because before you can work with them you need to choose an option if i choose this option i can apply some settings to this second option if i choose this one i also have the option to adjust some settings using mouse click using keyboard key that is the space bar using other joystick or gamepad connected to our computer system so when you have this it's going to scan through your keys and have all these settings available and i'm going to deselect we also have this option that says text prediction that is when you are typing some two or more characters together you have a prediction display on the on-screen keyboard that if you have an accessible prediction that will lead to whatever search that you want you can just click to have that effect so these are some of the settings you can apply for your on-screen keyboard i'm going to click on ok now you can see that when i get to the on-screen keyboard i have the numeric keys available and it is selected because 
my external keyboard has the norm lock key available if i press it it goes off press it it goes on you can also use the mouse to turn it off or on and you can hear the click sound of the computer mouse these are some of the settings you can apply to your on-screen keyboard what are some of the things that you can use this particular key to perform on your windows interface on this interface if i want to open the start menu i can click on this icon which is the windows logo key and you can see that i have opened this particular start menu so that is how to open the start menu when you click on this particular key now if i want to open the tax manager i can hold the control key the shift key and the escape key and this is going to open the tax manager available and this is where you can close certain programs which are running and you are finding it difficult to close that particular program you can use this tax manager to do so if i want to take a picture on my screen i can hold the windows logo key the shift key and the letter s and this brings out the snipping tool i can select a portion of my screen to take a picture so i have taken a picture of this particular screen therefore when i hold the windows key and the letter a i have the picture displayed in the action center which i can click to save this on my computer system or i can copy it and paste it into a different application so this is how to take a picture using the on-screen keyboard you can also use this to type in a word processing application i'm going to open word so i'm going to click on this windows key and then i move to my on-screen keyboard and i'm going to use the vertical scroll bar of this start menu and search for word and this is word i'm going to click on it so you can see that i have opened this word processing application which is microsoft word and i'm going to reposition my on-screen keyboard this is where my cursor is blinking therefore if i move to this on-screen keyboard i can type so if you are smart and moving your mouse pointer or moving your mouse you can quickly get access to these letters now the text prediction is not available i can move back to my options and then click on this and click on ok now when i come back and then start to type you can see that i have this text prediction available therefore i can quickly click on what i want So this is how to use the on-screen keyboard to type some characters or some sentences in a word processing application. You can select all these text by holding the control key and the letter A. And that is going to select all the text for you. You can move to your ribbon and format your text based on your preference. If you want to clear, you can click on this particular option. If you want to undo, you hold the control key and the letter z and that is going to bring back your option and you have a lot of things that can be done using this on-screen keyboard and as i said it is very similar all the actions or the performance of this on-screen keyboard is similar to our physical keyboard this is how to activate the on-screen keyboard and how to work with it if i want to delete this i can use the backspace or the delete key now if i want to key in a random text into this particular word document i can type the equal to symbol and then type r a n d which is rand and then i'm going to open the brackets by using the shift key and then i'm going to specify the number of paragraphs that i want i want four bring my comma and then five line of text 
shift key and also close the brackets and i'm going to hit the enter key now this gives me the room to import or insert a random text into microsoft word and when i move to this i have only one page available in this document i can use the enter key that is the control key and the enter key to create another page so you can see that we have two of two that is two pages available in this word document if i use the page down or the page up icon i can navigate through my word document so if i click on this you can see that i'm moving up click on this i am moving down so this keyboard is similar to our physical keyboard and i'll urge you to put this into practice anytime you have a problem with your external keyboard and have a better usage of this inbuilt accessibility tool hope you like this video please give it a like share drop your comments if you have any video you want us to cover please leave that in the comment section and i'm ever ready to assess and give you a positive reply thank you and we shall meet in our next tutorials